So for those of you who don't know, JT is kind of a badass in the sense that all of our games that we always have together are just 100% heart-wrenching, unless they're OU, because he kicks my ass in OU, because apparently I'm bad. So what's going on, guys? This is going to be tie Time Episode 2, and um, it's a fantastic NU match. You, you've probably already seen his side if, if you uh, watch his videos, but if you, haven't, if you don't watch his videos, then... Uh, Stick around, because this one is definitely worth watching. Basically, what happened before this, we had an OU match where he 6 owed me because I'm bad. And uh, he used, like, his best team ever, which he said, like, nobody's ever beaten. So, uh, I told him that's not what I'm all about. I want to have an NU, and he's like, yep, dude, let's have an NU, because that's not, how, that's not how you really are. Plus, our NU matches are always, like, the best. So, uh, he went off to eat. And in that hour, I made this team, and I put a lot of thought into it. I, I thought I'd make some lulzy guys. And uh, he's using our grab bag of dudes as well. So I just want... Both of us are pretty much new with our teams, and we don't really know how they're going to work. So he leads with Pile of Swine, and I've got Metacham. Metacham is meant to fake out and then leave, and hope that uh, I can bluff a Scarf... Or bluff not being, just being Scarfed, so that I can come in later and be Scarfed and kill things. Uh, he's gonna. I know he's gonna sleep because JT likes them sleeps, and he hits my Porygon too. And now I'm going to switch out into Flareon, and right here I don't notice a life orb. I see his HP go up. I knew it didn't do that much damage, and I didn't see it go back down there. So that's a huge, huge plot point later in the match. So uh, he's gonna switch out now, and I just went for superpower. I guess he was fearing like some kind of stab fire move, so he just went into. This thing, I wish Flare got, got Flare Blitz, that would be awesome. I just use Superpower because I don't really have too many fighting moves and outside of Metacham, you know. And that doesn't really do a lot. And right here, uh, I'm going to go for Heal Belt to get the sleep off of Porygon 2. Uh, but he goes for Earthquake. I figured he'd Earth Power and I'm a special wall. I knew I, know it, I knew it would be Stab and... Um, you know, I thought I thought he'd have Earth Power, so I stayed in. It didn't work out. He has Earthquake, and because my minus one drop, and I, I don't think that mattered, it's Stab, so he, he took me out. It's a good play by him. So now I'm going to go to Minon, and I know that the Grass Knots aren't going to do a lot unless it's boosted, so I go for a Nasty Plot right off the bat. He's going to Earthquake me down to my Sash, and here I'm thinking, well, he's probably going to switch into something, like Venomoth, two times four resist that uh, expected Grass Knot, so I probably should T-Bolt here. Uh, predicting the switch, but I don't want him predicting me to predict that, and either staying in or going out into Pile of Swine. So he does switch, and I did go for Grass Knot, and I hit his Venomoth for negative zero damage, and that's where we are. So now I'm going to go for T-Bolt now, be because I'm kind of expecting him to stay in, but he goes to Pile of Swine, and I'm like, damn it, this guy's just predicting me all over the place, and now I'm like, he's got to go for Ice Shard, he's going to go for Ice Shard, and he goes for Stealth Rock. So that's supposed, that puts me in a huge, huge hole. He's already up six to four, essentially, because that, uh, Minon is now some death fodder. So I set up, I decide, okay, time to reset, reboot, let's just set up my rocks, and in comes Venomoth. That thing's, that thing's going to be faster, it's going to go for sleep powder, so I go to Minon just for death fodder, so I can bring something faster in and hopefully get either kill it or get a good hit on whatever he wants to bring in. And because I'm dumb and I didn't uh, know, you know, uh, how fast Venomoth was, I thought it was like base 120 speed. So I went for Aqua Jet when I really should have went for Waterfall, which really, really sucks because now I'm not going to be able to take out this Gastrodon in two hits like I would have had I gone for uh, Waterfall the first turn. So Gastrodon's chilling in here, and from my side of things, I'm thinking, well, I'm just going to keep Waterfalling. If he wants to recover off all the damage, that's fine. I'm eventually going to get a crit, I'm eventually going to get a flinch, or something's going to happen. Um, and that's that's my thought process, but from his perspective, he's thinking if he keeps recovering, I'm eventually going to switch, which he thought I'd do right off the bat, uh, hence the Toxic there. So now his Gastrodon has to switch out, otherwise it's going to die. So I'm just going to keep firing off Waterfalls on whatever wants to come in. In comes a Pile of Swine, and I'm, that's going to be taken out by the Waterfall quite easily. So here we go. I'm going to start I'm going to start my comeback right now. Um, this is... This is um, the way our battles usually go. I usually go down really early by doing something really stupid, and then I, I have to play incredibly well in the late game. So let's just hope that I can pull it off again. In comes Zangoose. I don't really want to switch out because I'm fearing close combat, and close combat's probably going to two-hit KO Regirock, and uh, I want to save my Chopal on my Porygon too. 
Uh, he hits me with return, gets a crit, doesn't matter. I knew he'd be Scarf, so I had to go for Aqua Jet. And now, since he went for return, it is safe to go into Regirock. Uh, I could T-Wave, I could do a lot of these things. I think I actually double switch here, uh, predicting the Venomoth to come back in, which it does, and I go to Metacham. I guess T-Waving it would have been a better option, but uh, I wasn't really thinking that far ahead. So now I'm going to let the cat out of the bag, I'm going to reveal the fact that I'm actually Scarfed, and I'm not, um, you know, leftovers or whatever item that I would have had uh, other than Scarf. Um... Yeah, I take out that Mag Mortar with one hit, and he brings in Ampharos. And right here, if I was him, I would have went for a Thunder Wave. I'm not sure what he was thinking going for Thunderbolt. Maybe he doesn't pack Thunder Wave. Maybe he's an offensive one that has, like, Heal Bell and three attacks, like mine. I don't know, but he just decided to go for Thunderbolt. Maybe he thought he'd take me out uh, because it is Stab, but, you know, it's not going to quite do the job. And uh, now I'm going to fire off another Zen Headbutt, uh, assuming it hits, of course. Uh, I didn't want to go for high jump kick because he does ha he did have venom off, but I f I forgot that I had rocks up, and um, I guess high jump kick missing would have been a really bad thing. So here I I have a lot of options. I'm gonna go to Regirock to take a close combat. It's gonna die, and that's gonna be that's gonna be dumb. But uh, after this, um, I could go fake it out with uh, Metacham, or I could go to Porygon two, trace his immunity, and then I'm gonna be good to go. Uh, the reason I have to trace immunity is because I don't want him toxicing me. Because uh, the, right now I have to talk to Skull as Gastron, and I know that thing's going to have toxic of its own. So uh, I take the close combat, uh, my Chopal Berry activates, and I'm not going to lose. I'm gonna, I'm, it's going to do a quarter, which is awesome. I'm going to fire back a, with a Psychic, I'm going to kill it, and now my Porygon 2 has immunity. He can't toxic me, he can't burn me, he can't do all those things with Gastrodon, so I'm going to I'm just gonna fire off a psychic right off the bat. Maybe I'll get a crit, maybe I'll get a drop. Who knows what I'm gonna do. And and uh, it doesn't actually do that much. It probably wouldn't have even killed even if I critted. So now I know that I have to go I have to get this thing toxic. I'm gonna have to stall it out uh, to have a chance to win this game. Uh, from his perspective he's thinking, well he's gotta get this thing asleep. So I just go for toxic and he's just continuing to recover. He wanted all that HP back and now like, I really want my HP back, but I can't really, like, go for it because, well, I, I, uh, it was just a dumb play going for recover here. I didn't need the HP that much, and if I had got this thing with a Psychic, then it would have, it would have made my life so much easier, I would have had the game, uh, just guaranteed. So he fires off that Sleep Powder, it hits, unfortunately for me, uh, he, he gets me to sleep, and he told me that that was a misclick there going for Bug Buzz. He should have, he said he should have Giga Drained, which I kind of agree with. And from my perspective, I didn't want to go to Metacham predicting the uh, Sleep Powder because A, I don't want to lose my immunity, and B, I do not want um, him predicting that and going for Bug Buzz or Giga Drain and killing my uh, fodder there. And now here, that's the most important play of the game, he gets a crit. So that pretty much means that I have to wake up this turn, otherwise it's game over, I stay asleep. That would that was my third turn of sleep, I think, and that really, really sucks. Um, had I noticed that his uh, stupid, what do you call it, um, his Venomoth was Life Orb, then like, I would have gone into Metacham to take the Bug Buzz or the Sleep or whatever, because I still probably would have been able to, because we both have Recover, I think I would have been able to stall out this Gastrodon in the end, and he, he makes me hope for a crit high jump kick, I don't get it. And uh, that's a good game to JT. Uh, we always have really awesome matches, so... Uh, or NU, anyways. Uh, he kicked my ass in OU, he 6 owed me because... Well, I'm not going to bring that up. Anyways, um, great game again, JT. Uh, I'm sorry this took so long to get up, but I had a lot of other stuff that I had to do. A lot of stuff that I had to get up. And... Um, yeah, I want to thank you guys all for watching. I really feel like I deserved better in this game. Like I, sh I just really got to start playing better in the in the early game against JT, and then maybe I'll be able to win a few. Uh, I think he's got me three to one right now uh, because you know <laughs> crap like that happens. I feel like I got robbed, but you know that's that, them's the breaks. That's what happens. Uh, anyways, um, I'll just, I guess uh, I'm done ranting here, so I want to thank you all for watching again, I think I already said that, and I will see you all later.